Good afternoon. Welcome to the 44th annual Village of New Lenox Loyalty Day Parade. And my name is Judy Neiman. I'm with Dunn and Neiman Real Estate in New Lenox. I'm a lifelong resident of this community and have enjoyed every minute of living here. I live in the same home that I was raised in, in New Lenox. And I'd also like to have you meet my co-partner today. Yeah, we're this is our first time at this. My uh, my name is Michelle Krozwick. I'm the executive director over at the New Lenox Public Library District. They're going to be in the parade later today, which I'm excited about. Um, I've only been in New Lenox for seven years, but uh, am a resident now, and I'm excited because it's the first time I get to watch the entire parade because I usually march with the library. So this is going to be a lot of fun. So let's get going. Do you want to start with the history? Sure, I will. All right, Thank perfect. you. Thank you, Michelle. Um, a lot has happened in this country over the last 40 years uh, during this parade history. Uh, the love of the country and the American flag has continued to guide us through all of it. Loyalty Day is a day that has set aside to honor our flag and show our American spirit and appreciation for those who have served in our armed forces. The parade has become a symbol of how the 18th District VFW Post members served to protect our nation. And it's a way the community can show their appreciation for the service of these fine young and older men and women of the armed forces, which we are very proud of. Now, did you know that the VFW actually traces its roots all the way back to 1899? That's a long time. And we have representatives of the 17 VFW districts in Illinois with our 18th district, which is 11 VFW posts in the south and west Chicago suburbs. So we're excited to have them with us today and celebrate our veterans, celebrate the home of proud Americans and the amazing community that New Lenox is. Thank you. All right, and we are officially kicking things off with the police chief, Lou and Alessandrini, and the first police car, as is typical in this parade. So here we go, New Lenox, our 44th annual Loyalty Day Parade. So fortunate here in New Lenox to have such great police force and support here. So. Um, just really appreciate their service and what they do to keep our community safe. Keeping, yeah, protecting our community. Yeah. Well, it looks like they've got other people handing out candy out the back window. That's good. Yeah. There they are, waving hi. <laughs> <laughs> Look like they're having fun. Got our emergency services vehicle coming down next. We do have a separate ESDA community. You'll notice them directing traffic, helping people out. Yep. If you have a flat tire, you can call and they'll come and watch you while you change your tire <laughs> or help. I, the help would be preferred, yeah. but you know, supervision is also good. <laughs> oh, is that our Grand Marshal is coming up next, Judy. See in the pickup truck here, the white one? There he is. Jim Pitcairn is our parade marshal this year. Oh uh, golly, Jim was uh, a resident, has been a resident of the Lincoln Way area for the last 33 years. And he's taught at Lincoln Way High School for 33 years, I'm sorry. He's been a resident of New Lenox for many, many years. Um, he and his wife, Kay, have moved here again 32 years ago and he was an art teacher at Lincoln Way. There he is, our, yes. our former commentator. He is a volunteer at the New Lenox Fire Department. He was assistant principal at Lincoln Way High School. Um, he moved to New Lenox in 1963. And it looks like we have the original Loyalty Day Parade banner coming down that's carried by Carolyn Athens and grandchildren of William and Colette Athens and family. The New Lenox VFW is following through there. Yeah, so in 1978, William Athens, a veteran of World War II and the Korean War, enlisted fellow members of the New Lenox VFW post 9545 to help get the parade started. There they are. For God and country, we advocate for veterans, educate our citizens, mentor youth, and promote patriotism, good citizenship, peace, and security. This is the Thomas E. Hartong. American Legion Post. And these are the post riders that are approaching now. 
I'm sorry, reading your line. Here they come rumbling by. Sons of the American Legion post 1977. All decorated, excited to be here. They have over 375 members of the American Legion post in New Lenox and Ladies Auxiliary and the Sons of the American Legion and the Legion Riders in procession today. All right, we've got our veterans garage here. So the late Joe Warner, former mayor of Mokina, started this group as a place for veterans to get together, promote camaraderie, and work on military vehicles. Joe spent much of his life finding ways to help veterans. Wow. Look at those. Beautiful, beautiful. Refurbished. We got a lot of military oh, this vehicles is beautiful. this year. This is yes. so fun. All these refurbished military vehicles. Great way to hand out candy. Joe Warner was at one time the mayor in Mokina, mm -hmm. and this was a great, great thing that he did mm -hmm. for our veterans. Wow. I want to wave to him. I'm a great waver. I know. We can wave. We can wave. <laughs> we can say hello. To the king. Yeah. Those are some very large vehicles. Yes. Very tall. Looks like we got a lot of friends helping to hand out candy up from these vehicles. They come rolling through. We have the Bolingbrook Post 5917. They are part of the 18th District, and we are honored to have Bolingbrook VFW Post with us today, representing and honoring our veterans. All right, and then we have Ken Tigney Post 367 with this beautiful old car here. They were found on March 28, 1920 by the veterans of the 1st Division who saw action in Cantigny, France. And the 1st Division's headquarters were in a chateau, and with the approval of the mayor of Cantigny, their name officially became the Cantigny Post, and Post Home became Chateau Cantigny. Another... Um one of the 17 VFW districts that were here was District 99 from Joliet. Oh, and the submarine veterans are next. Um, the U.S. Chicago-based submarine veterans, primarily composed of U.S. submarine veterans that are part of the chapter of the United States veterans, submarine veterans, are served during World War II in the Korean War, the Cold War, and the Vietnam era up to the present period. They meet at the Tinley Park, Illinois, VFW. Look, at they've got to have a model of the little submarine there. How oh. neat is that? That is neat, oh my gosh. All right, this. There it goes. This is... All right, now next we've got Brian Caputo. Mm -hmm. Is this him? Yeah. Does it say that on his car? Yeah. Okay. And there they are in the Corvette, the submarine veterans. Next, we've got Brian Caputo. He's driving a pickup truck that has is custom wrapped. No, he's not. Yep, it's custom wrapped, wrapped. in honor of his late father. So Brian's, Brian's father, Charles, was a World War II veteran who served in the 42nd Infantry Division from 1943 to 1945. Charles served in combat in the European and African theaters of operation during the war. Oh gosh. Got a lot of big trucks here. This is still Caputo. Brian yeah. Caputo. Let's see if we can honk the horn for us. <laughs> Waving the American flag out of a big old semi. Huge semi. There they go. 
okay. All right, so we now have the Lincoln Way Air Force Junior ROTC. The Lincoln Way Central Air Force Junior ROTC program has an award-winning armed and unarmed drill teams who recently competed at a national level in Dayton, Ohio. The uh, Lincoln Way ROTC is a volunteer group also that will help out on a lot of village and community affairs. All right, next we have the New Life Church Cadets and they're a scouting group for boys second through eighth grade with a focus on badge work. As their motto says, helping boys grow more like Christ-like in all areas of life. Done doing Bible lessons, merit badge work, camping, pine car dirty, derby, and much more. Cadet leaders are men from the church and their goal is to help boys grow into Christian men who are leaders in their churches and communities. I think we have the New fun. Lenox Fire yep. Department District. It's a wonderful organization. Jim Pitcairn was a volunteer in the fire department for many, many years. And um, the fire department district was founded in 1940. The, um, it has seen many changes over the years and continues to grow with the community that it serves and protects. The New Lenox Fire Department covers an area of 36 <laughs> square miles and nearly 50,000 residents, as well as parts of I-80 and all who drive through the area. The fire district currently has four fire stations staffed with firefighters, paramedics, and respond and responders. They respond to about 5,200 wow. calls per year, and they recently added a search and rescue hound by the name of Bo, mm -hmm. and I've met Bo, and he has been trained in man trailing and is able to help New Lenox and surrounding residents uh, find missing individuals. They want to remember, remind you to check your fire and smoke alarms. They save lives. Replace your batteries when they are 10 years old and you will want to upgrade your alarms possibly to a 10 year sealed battery when it's time to replace your old ones. Yeah, working smoke alarms are important because it's essential to safety in the home if something happens. So, and, and once the smoke alarm sounds, you only have three to four minutes to get out of the house due to building materials and other items catching on fire. So very important to have that. Looks like we have Manhattan Emergency Services here with us as well. The New Lenox Emergency Services and Manhattan Emergency Services are here. Our ESDA truck went by earlier in the parade and uh, they offer serves New Lenox and surrounding communities for their mutual aid support. All right, looks like we have the police cadets coming through. Um, they are handing out voting cards to those watching the parade. So these cards have a QR code that lead to a voting form. Sorry. Okay, no. All right, looks like we have the New Lenox Police Cadets, and they're actually handing out voting cards here to those watching the parade. So that's got a QR code on it, and people can use that to vote for their favorite three categories. We've got Spectator's Choice, which is Originality, Creativity, Appearance, the Spirit Award, and the William A. Athens Award that best embodies the sentiment of the parade and New Lenox history of proud Americans. <laughs> All right, looks like we this, have this the CERT the program. Yeah, yeah. do you want to tell right. us about that, Judy? Sure. The CERT program helps train people to be better prepared to respond to emergency situations in their communities. When emergencies happen, 
CERT members can give critical support to first responders, provide immediate assistance to victims, and organize spontaneous volunteers at a disaster. The CERT members can also help with non-emergency products projects <laughs> that help improve the safety of the community. All right. I think this is a volunteer organization. It is. They're very and important. And they're very, very important to our community. If you are interested in being part of the CERT program, I'm sure that through the Village Hall and Dan, um, you can... Martin, yep. Martin, oh, we have candy here. You can certainly be part of this CERT program. Looks like we have the Liberty Junior High School marching bands comprised of 7th and 8th graders from Liberty Junior High and New Lenox. Band rehearses daily, performs frequently throughout the years in the concerts and festivals, and today they're going to perform the patriotic favorite, America the Beautiful. So let's, let's take a listen as they come up here and stop. I was in the New Lenox Grade School Band for um, five years. Very nice. Looks like next we have Old Plank Trail Bank. Yes, we do. Old Plank Trail Bank is a um, community bank with 15 banking offices, proudly serving the local community. We strive to fulfill your every banking and financial need, local decision making, unmatched personal service, and a deep commitment to our community are among our core values. Our, our library works at with the them. Old Plank Trail Bank. They're yes. just wonderful to they work are. with. They are. I work with them also. Great community supporters too. Give back a lot. Always answer your questions when you call. Yep. Looks like we got some little ones enjoying passing yeah. out candy. We got some candy up here earlier. This is great. Ooh, we've got a very sparkly float coming up here. They did a good job decorating this one. Be patient. All right, looks like we have Sunvale. Sunvale Events. Oh, we could use them today. It's a tent rental company based in New Lenox, providing tents and tables, chairs, lighting to local residents and businesses. Perfect time of the year. Give them a call for your graduation party. Absolutely. And uh, rent a tent. Or just some chairs and a couple tables. Whatever you need, they're there. Oh, this is exciting. We have some segways coming through. It looks like it's the Bedina Shriners Mini Choppers. It looks like they have, they have their segways today. And they have three goals. Spread goodwill and smiles. Raise awareness of the Shriners and fundraise for Shriners Charities. There they are rolling around. Fine organization. They do a lot of wonderful things. Look like they're having fun on those segments. I know they are. It's I the way to roll today. I thought they were a little hard to ride, but they look like they're really, they know what they're doing. Absolutely. Oh, look, they're I'm doing glad, circles now. Man. I'm glad that wasn't one of our requirements. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're having too much fun. They have these drills down pat. Much more coordinated than I am, I oh will tell boy, you that. Oh, boy, yes, yes, yes. Safety first, wearing their helmets, though. Yes, thank goodness. At least they get some of that breeze, that cool breeze today. Looks like we have a lot of kiddos out here waving their American flags, enjoying the parade. Medina Patrol. All right, next we have, um, oh. The United Methodist Church of New Lenox. It's a 
uh, celebrating the United Methodist Church's 190 years plus serving our Lord in our Christian community. It's a fine church, large church. I love to hear their bells mm -hmm. and the music from their chimes. Oh. They got a nice float beautiful, here. They do, and they oh. have beautiful grounds. The church is on beautiful grounds on Haven Avenue and um, Route 30. A lot of woods there, and they have a wonderful flea market in the fall. Mm-hmm. And I attended their um, Christmas cantata, which was absolutely fabulous. They have a lovely choir. Looks like we have some nice convertibles rolling yeah. through. Got a mix, I got a Mercedes, a Corvette. Yeah, we'll take that one. I'll take the Mustang okay. <laughs> coming up. Yeah, I, the Corvettes, I couldn't fit in the Corvette. If I could get in the Corvette, I probably couldn't get out. There is they're that. They're pretty low to the ground. They are very low to the ground, aerodynamic. But they're sharp looking. They are. I like this old Mustang. Now I'm going to get in trouble from my husband because I, I should go. know the year of this Mustang, but I don't. So this looks, Is that a 69? What does it say on the license plate? It says, it's I Just know. an antique place and plate. That's yeah. a nice car. Oh, look, hey, looks like we have Mindful Healing Counseling coming down with their wonderful banner there. Um, they're a modern mental health studio treating kids, adults, and teens, provide array of services in person and telehealth. They're trained therapists specialize in a variety of mental and behavioral disorders, and their phrase is, come sit with us. Now, May is actually Mental Health Awareness Month, so it's good to see organizations like this being represented in the parade, because today's day and age, we need a, all need a little support. <laughs> oh, this is great. Enjoying the day. I love this. This is great. So they've got someone pretending to sing like Ferris Bueller back in uh, Ferris Bueller's Day, day Off. off. That's, uh, that is super creative. Simply Music Studios, located right here in New Lenox. They offer private lessons for piano, guitar, voice, strings, band instruments, and you name it. If you have a specialty, they offer it for you. They also offer lots of options for early childhood music like Kinder Music and Zumbina, Mommy and Me Zumba, and Weekly Music Playdates. Wow, that sounds good. Yeah. And they even have their own youth choir who has big things planned in the area with a ton of great offerings for summer camps this year. And there's a t Taylor Swift Music Camp, oh. Descendants, Great Showman, Local Boot Camp, Star Power Performer Camps, and they are producing a youth cast version of High School Musical in August. For more information and to get in on the action, you can just visit simplymusicstudios.com. All right. Sounds I, like fun. That does sound like nice fun. Nice summer I, activities. Yeah, I think we have the New Lenox Girls Softball Association coming All right. through. So they've uh, been part of New Lenox for 52 years, and they're excited to participate in such a long-standing New Lenox tradition. <laughs> They have over 500 girls participating in an all-volunteer organization every year, and this season will mark their 26th anniversary at Wallona Field. The New Lenox Girls Softball Association is proud to continue its tradition of participating in the Loyalty Day Parade. This is great. Um, some of those girls probably have an arm on them, so if they get some candy up this way, yes. be careful. And they got some Taylor Swift playing. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, looks like we got the Cub Scouts we coming. We do. We have Cub Scout Pack 6. 
Cub Scout Pack 6 is a group of boys and girls, kindergarten through fifth grade, who meet at Lincoln Way's Christian Church. Kids involved in scouts learn many great skills and have fun exploring the outdoors. Pack six. Oh, they've got a whole, a whole bunch of them bunch in the back there. That's handy wonderful. Candy. Great to see so many yes. of them here. Wonderful experience for the boys and girls. Mom and dads take a very active part in the Cub Scouts. Mm -hmm. All right, looks like we got another yeah, Cub Scout pack. Yeah, we do. Pack 94 of New Lenox. And they are also a very active group of boys and girls. And if you would like their website, you can find out all of their activities. You just go www.pack94.com. And that's spelled out P A C K 94.com. Yeah. yeah. Well, they got a lot of people showing up, too. That's great to see such good representation. Group. Very good group. Pack yeah. 94. <laughs> I love They're it. They're all enthused. That's wonderful. Wonderful to hear the enthusiasm. And there's mom and dad supporting them. <laughs> what a great showing. Yeah. There's the Simon Phillips Men's Hair Salon. They're locally owned and operated by Tom and Chrissy Hinks. The barbershop specializes in men's and boys' haircuts, and they're dedicated to providing the highest quality of service. So stop by the barbershop and get the best haircut around. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you for your participation in the parade. Very patriotic truck there. It looks like we've yeah. got Lincoln Way District 210 Transportation Services. Um, they serve New Lenox, Frankfurt, Manhattan, and Union School Districts and are currently hiring new drivers. No experience necessary. They offer paid training, retirement, and insurance, and they have lots of opportunities available. So important to have the means of which to get our students to their schools so they can start their day of learning. That's so right. our bus drivers are very important and integral to that. Very important. Safety first. Absolutely. And if you're lo looking for a part-time job, there's drivers do a beautiful job and I know that they're looking for drivers. <laughs> oh, and next we've got TriStar Cabinet and Top Company. TriStar has been here in New Lenox for, since 1966, and they are the second generation family-owned business, and they manufacture custom cabinetry for all rooms of your home or your business. And stop in and see our two-story, 86,000 square foot showroom at 1100 South Cedar Road in New Lenox. Yeah, they've got a their, very nice showroom. Their showroom is mm -hmm. absolutely amazing. And they do an absolutely amazing job there. I did my kitchen cabinets and bathrooms from them and also my office. Very, very proud to have TriStar with us in New Lenox. Thank you for taking part in our Loyalty Day Parade. Oh, they're all from TriStar. Thank you. Oh, it looks like that is Ranch Frosty. Ooh. Oh, I guess that's me. Oh, yes. Here comes the balloons. And, oh, my gosh. Ranch Frosty. It was originally Fitzer Frosty, located on the corner of Route 30 and Cedar Road. I remember that. <laughs> and uh, this local favorite opened its doors in 1955. Wow. And became a new Lenox staple. 
Then in 1970, the new owner, Harold Hoyt, moved the building to its current location at Cedar and Francis and renamed it Ranch Frosty. Jackie Pataki purchased the booming business in 2018, allowing the legacy of Ranch Frosty to continue on being a favorite among local residents. It is the best stopover when you're on your way home, and they have the best of all kinds of ice cream and s sandwiches and wraps. Anything you want. Anything you want. And it's delicious. There's a nice ice cream cone, too. Hi. Life's too <laughs> short not to eat ice cream. I agree. Right. Oh, now we're at Fairway Independent Mortgage Company. Fairway Independent Mortgage Corporation is a national mortgage company providing hometown service. Megan Wentland is among the top 1% of mortgage originators in the country and specializes in first-time home buyers and serving our veterans with their VA home loan. Contact Megan and Fairway for all of your residential mortgage loan needs. All right, here comes a group of canines with All About the Canine, and they're a local business off Faro Drive in New Lenox, owned by Heather. I know Heather personally, and she's a wonderful person. This is an amazing job with, with training dogs. She does have a lifelong passion for dogs and brings her knowledge and expertise to the community in order to help dog or, dogs and their owners. All About the Canine is active with the New Lenox Chamber and within their community, oh. and they have a miniature horse. Is this a first for us? First pony, yeah. yeah. This is a first pony. Oh, oh, look at that. Beautiful. Look at all these lovely dogs. We beautiful have a gold in there. Beautiful pony. Oh, Aussie. beautiful. Look at oh. that. Adorable. This is a great group. Thank you for coming this year. This is wonderful. All right. The animals make it, don't they? We love to see them. Looks like we have L LWSRA, that's our Lingaway Special Recreation Association. It's an extension of the New Lenox Park District as well as other neighboring park districts. And they provide recreational programs for individuals with disabilities. They, their programs begin with individuals as young as two years old through adulthood and range from Special Olympic sports, music, art, special event dances and outings, and the Titans Recreation Club. We're so so fortunate to have this group in our community. We certainly are. And they do some wonderful out, outings with their clients. And they are uh, just an, a wonderful organization. Embedded right now here in New Lenox off of Laraway Road. Yes. There's our director driving the bus. <laughs> All right. Charles Morris Salon. Charles Morris was established in 1998 and is a local full-service salon offering hair services, skin, nails, and hair extensions, eyelashes, tooth gems, and more. Everything. Oh, my gosh. And look at that I beautiful Corvette. Maybe look I'll go get a tooth gem. How about that? How tiny that Corvette is. But oh, they yes. still managed oh, to get yeah, four people they in did, there. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's an achievement. Beautiful car. Yes. All right, looks like we have Uniquely You Behavioral Health, and they're an autistic-owned neurodivergent affirming care practice located here in New Lenox, providing an individual adult and child therapy. They empower individuals and families to be who they are and to educate the community about neurodivergent experience. So through different various modalities, they work with partners and individuals to develop strategies and work towards self-acceptance, increase life satisfaction, and live their most authentic life. And they're rolling out a day program starting this fall. So good to see that. And there's, uh, I believe that's Atlas the dog there. Uh. <laughs> he's, he's always out and about at events. Next, we have the First Bank of New Lenox. The First Bank of Manhattan and New Lenox proudly serves the New Lenox community by not only providing deposit accounts, we also provide mortgages, business lending, personal loans, home equity products, and much more. They are a true first service bank. And the First Bank of Manhattan also has a trust department. Oh, okay. Oh, man, oh, we're getting people oh, running up to the stage oh, oh, from Kurt's God. Memorial Chapel. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Oh, thank you. Why? We're getting bags from Kurt's Memorial Chapel. All right. 
That's wonderful. You Thank read. you, guys. We didn't even read about it. They specialize in crafting personal funeral services that cater to unique needs of each family they serve. All right, looks like we have some Boy Scout troops. Do you want to tell us about them? Sure. Troop 49 and 492 are both very active in the Ishkot, Ishkot District. Yeah. Rainbow Council number 702 based in Lockport with scouts from the area including New Lenox, Frankfurt, Manhattan, Lockport and even Piatone. They do camping education activities and fun all make up our scouting year. The troop is led by the scouts themselves and the parents in the troop are very active in helping them make the most of the scouting experience. It allows our scout families to spend quality valuable time with their sons or daughters and each other are fostering and active and welcoming environment for our scouts to learn and grow. Look at them canoeing right yeah. now. Isn't that yeah, fun? Yeah, that's darling. That's a great idea. It's just rolling along. Rolling along. Okay. Looks like they're one of the most active in the area with activities and campouts planned at least once a month. And they're active in the community, including today's Loyalty Day Parade. So we're happy to have them. I know that they have pancake breakfast at the VFW yeah. and they receive a good portion of the funds they raise deposited into their personal scouting accounts that can be used for paying for their scouting activities and other events. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Now Got this, a lot of representatives yes. here today too. That's great. Troop 49. Oh, this is a large, large group. This is a wonderful group. 49 and 492. Good to see you. There's the parents supporting them also, of course. That's what it takes, parental support to get our kids and keep them active. And make the community better, yes. ultimately. Yes, yes. There they go, dog and toe. <laughs> All right, looks like this is Stick Jacket. And this is their second time participating in our Loyalty Day Parade, and they're also celebrating their seventh year doing business here at Dune Lennox. They are, Stick Jackets are the ultimate companion for anglers worldwide, versatile and expandable. Stick Jacket covers adapt effortless, effortlessly to various environments from boat rod lockers to lakeside strolls. Join them in taming the tangle with Stick Jacket at stickjacket.com. A lot of people don't know that we have an angling store here no, in New Lenox. No, I didn't realize that until we were introducing them at the parade. And we got their boat here today. I mean, they're all yes, prepared they're to go fishing. Yes, they're ready to go. The boat's beautiful. <laughs> Very colorful. Yeah. Stick Jacket. Yep. All right. After Stick Jacket, we have Drew's Dogs. These are very popular now, especially this time of the year with mm -hmm. graduations coming up and they'll just pull up in your yard and you can serve your guests a Drew's Hot Dog. It's a food trailer serving gourmet hot dogs and sausages. They specialize in parties, weddings and festivals, as well as other types of special events. Kind of getting hungry watching this. Yeah, I wondered <laughs> if they're going to, are they passing out samples? Maybe. Wouldn't that be great? That would be wonderful. <laughs> Hi. The real Drew's hot dog. All right, so they're still far down here, but I do see someone in a lion suit, which makes me think that this oh. is the New Lenox Lions Club. And they've been active in the New Lenox community for over 75 years, and their motto is, we serve. They proudly participate in many activities, such as free spaghetti dinner for seniors, party in the park for those with special needs, Christmas baskets, blood drive, and so much more. And they recently hosted their fashion show event, which always is fun to attend. Very nice. It was lovely this year. And their the meetings are held on the second Wednesday of the month at the Lions Community Center, and new members are always welcome. And at the expos, they offer free hearing exams. And um, mm -hmm. if you have any extra glasses that you would like to donate to the Lions Club, they will put them to good use with people that need glasses. Yeah, you can actually drop those off at the library, too. So bring your old glasses to the library. Looks like they've got a couple of cars in the yes. parade, ending with their lion, which is a great mascot. Yeah. He or she has to be pretty warm. That's, that's, a, that's a toasty job right there. But... We could definitely tell who they were. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's a wonderful organization. If you'd like to be a member of the Lions, it's always possible to join the Lions and help them with their village activities 
And the Lions president is pulling up the end of the parade there. Parade, the end of the Lions parade. HERO, the Heroin Epidemic Relief Organization. HERO is a local nonprofit organization in Will County, and they have uh, by two grieving fathers that provide free Narcon training in kids, grief support group meetings, and family support group meetings. Speak in many schools throughout the state and have our hidden in plain sight educational trailer in the parade. If you have an opportunity to visit that trailer, please do. That's it's a wonderful, wonderful It's a wonderful thing resource, to see. yes. Yes, it is a wonderful resource. Oh, and looks like we have the DuPage Shrine Club Cruising Coolers. They're a Medina Shriners entry with their electric motorized picnic coolers driven by members of the DuPage Shriners Club. We're happy to have them here in New Lenox today. And they're also a member of the Masonic Lodge in the northeastern area of Illinois. And their phrase is, we ride so kids can walk. That's their motto. Oh, that's a wonderful motto. I, I, want, I want an electric cooler. Yeah. It's perfect for a day like this. It is. Looks like that's fun. All right, putting that in the... They know how to get around. Look at them zooming. Turning down onto Haven over there. All right, this is a organization near and dear to my heart. This is my library. This is your library. This is the Community New Lenox Public Library. We're excited to announce that they are kicking off their summer learning challenge on June 8th, open to adults, teens, kids, all ages. Our theme this year is read, re renew, repeat. You can use our library. Um, it's an eco-friendly and sustainable way to read new books, use technology, and engage with the community. Check out a great novel or ebook today. I recognize many faces in the parade today. We have some of our trustees, Aaron Monchek there. We got Alex Van Cena, our board president. Lots of volunteers. Shaylin Rodriguez, our new assistant director. Bunch of staff and volunteers. Bubbles. So happy to see them. Liz Yelich, Aaron Collins, Liz O'Neill, all my wonderful <laughs> library staff. I have I have one of the best staff. They are amazing. I'm just going to brag on them. They're wonderful. And <laughs> in the car, we have Ed Tedro and, and, Karen. and his wife. Yep. Karen. Yeah. There they are in the Mustang. And the grandkids. Absolutely. Another board trustee. And then we have Terry Nolan, one of our newest trustees, rolling right behind them. I went to school with Karen and Ed. All right. We got the Martino Junior High Marching Band. And they're performing Proud Americans by Michael Boo. The band regularly competes in area competitions and consistently receives Division I ratings. They've competed in the Illinois Grade School Music Association Organizational Contest and have made it to the state competition yearly, where they've received very high marks. They sound wonderful. The band works hard and can be heard performing throughout the school year. They sound great. Looks like we have the village of New Lenox. Oh, we have a special guest coming to our table oh. here. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Uh -huh. oh. oh, look at you. Well, thank you so oh, much. Oh my goodness. That was not necessary. Look at that. Aren't you something? How you doing, ladies? We're okay. We're enjoying this weather. This what? is beautiful. Oh, what a beautiful day. It's such a beautiful event. And two beautiful women, I want to say thank you so much. <laughs> Jim and Nancy did such a great job for us mm -hmm. so, for so many years. And we thought, who could we get that would just do a wonderful job? And we couldn't have thought of two better people. So thank we you for that. all you do for our community. Uh, we've got someone who's been here for a while. Someone's been here for a long while. So <laughs> you're the great team up here. But uh, on behalf of the entire board and community, we want to say thank you for all you've done and for being willing to do this for us as well. Oh, well, we appreciate the invite to do so. Absolutely. Ladies, have a great time. You I too. always get in trouble because I hold up the parade, so. You're allowed to. I'm it's, stalling it. You're in I charge better of the get village. back. It's Here we good. go. Thanks, Tim. Right. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that was beautiful flowers. Was not expecting that. Um, we've got the Village Public Works trucks here, and they're going to be announcing their full summer events on calendars and their calendar soon. And you can find that at newlenox.net slash events. And uh, Fridays after five, movie nights, cruise the commons. And all some new exciting features they've got going. 
Oh, there's their snow plow. Always happy to see the snow plow uh, in the, the winter time. Well, our village president is a wonderful, wonderful guy, and he does so much for our community. Things that people have no idea that he's doing behind the scenes, and um, we're very blessed to have him. And we're excited to announce that uh, this year their summer concert features not only Smokey Robinson on June 1st, but also Ringo Starr on September yes. 14th. So they're already on sale at the Village Hall if you want tickets. And then tickets for Ringo will go on sale May 11th soon, right around the corner. And now we have the Cross of Glory Lutheran Church. Cross of Glory Lutheran Church is walking to highlight its upcoming Vacation Bible School. And this year's VBS theme is God in Classic Disney, and it runs from Monday, July 8th through Thursday, July 11th. Cross of Glory is an ELCA Lutheran Church with a contemporary worship service. We worship every Sunday at 9.30 in person and online, and they fly a rainbow flag and welcome all people. We're excited to be part of the New Lenox Parade, and we're proud to be an active supporter of our communities. Looks like we have Lance Peterson for Appellate Justice, served as a judge for over 22 years, and is running to retain a seat on your appellate court. Lance Peterson for Appellate Justice. And coming right after them is the New Lenox Township Democratic Organization, and their mission is to connect Democrats in New Lenox with the Democratic Party, recruit and train grassroots organizers to provide a range of events and opportunities to engage with field operations and to help Democratic candidates win up and down the ballot. And if you're interested, they're asking you to come and join the ground game. We've also got State Senator Patrick Joyce. State, State Senator Patrick Joyce represents the 40th Senate District, which includes two-thirds of New Lenox, in addition to parts of Cook, Kankakee, and Will County. Visit statesenatorpatrickjoyce.com for more information or to contact him. Next, we have State Senator Anthony DeLuca, Chairman of the House, Cities, and Village Committee. He is a strong voice for our constituents living in the 80th District. DeLuca continues to push state government to be more transparent while fighting for measures that will expand business development in the region with the goal of creating better paying jobs. Always a good opportunity to get out in there in front of Lots of people lining right. up down Cedar and down Haven. We can't even see and the people down Haven. I'm sure there's plenty. And meeting the people, that's mm -hmm. the most important part, so that you can see the face of the person you're voting for. Absolutely. Uh, judge John Anderson is a Will County judge who grew up in New Lenox and is running for appellate court. There are 54 judges on the appellate court, and nearly half are from Cook County. Will County has never had representation on the appellate court, and Judge Anderson believes we should. For more information, see www.judgejohnanderson.com. Oh, looks like we got the Girl Scouts coming up next. This is Girl Scout Service Unit 710. Being a part of New Lenox Girl Scouts is a great way for girls from kindergarten through high school to learn, grow, and develop leadership skills and independence. The Girl Scouts have participated in numerous community service projects throughout the community, including the annual food drive throughout, uh, throughout the years. This year, the Girl Scouts are celebrating, get this, 102 years. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's oh a long time. Oh, my goodness. Time. How wonderful. What a wonderful organization. What a wonderful way to oh, grow I, up. I love their, their banner. It says, in my Girl Scout era, a little Taylor Swift reference oh. there. Good job, girls. <laughs> cute. Very cute. 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 Now they are waving to the crowd. They're having fun with their streamers and waving hello to everybody. Here we have Boy Sc uh, Scouts BSA Troop 12. BSA Troop 12 is the longest endured scout troop in New Lenox. We have over 100 boys becoming Eagle Scouts since 1965. We camp every month of the year and learn more about us at troop12.com. Wonderful, wonderful, Eagle Scouts. And that's <laughs> Troop spelled out in 12, T-W-E-L-V-E dot -E com. We actually have a micro food pantry at the library that was an Eagle Scout project. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, that's, that stays, so if you ever need any kind of food with that, along with the New Lenox Township Food Pantry, feel free to visit. They also have a boat. I like these rolling boats. This is pretty yeah. cool. 
looks like coming up next. They've built many benches in our park district yep. also. Looks like we have Express Med Spa in this old pickup truck here. They're a full service medical spa offering a vast number of services. Check us out at any of our five locations in Frankfurt, Shorewood, LaGrange, Mount Greenwood, and Westchester. And here we have our fabulous New Lenox Park District. The New Lenox Community Park District serves the entire New Lenox community, offering a wide variety of services to both residents and non-residents. A few of their services include summer camps, children athletic leagues, recreational programs for children and adults, along with beautiful and inclusive parks and walking trails throughout the village of New Lenox. Registration for our summer programs and events begin tomorrow, May 6th, so be sure to check out their website to ensure an amazing summer for you and your family. We have an amazing park district here. We do, we so do. So fortunate, and one, one thing I love about New Lenox is how well everyone works together. Uh, park district, library, village, yes, yes. fire department. Yeah, definitely. All right, who we got coming? Oh, Sugar Shack, oh my goodness. I <laughs> frequently visit, they have amazing macarons. They are a locally Ooh. owned bakery specializing in amazing custom desserts. I actually saw on their social media since today is Cinco de Mayo, they had these adorable decorated taco cookies oh, and pinata cookies. How cute. And so they're cute and, and delicious. delicious. Oh, What I, a combination, cute and delicious. I need to stay away from there so I don't gain a couple <laughs> more pounds. They've, that's just, Go visit them. They're over by Bourbon Smokehouse on Route 30. I think it's a fairly new business in New Lenox also. It is, it is. got a lot of, lot of people marching with them today. Yeah. It's that sugar. It keeps them going. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I could use some of that. Well, it looks like we have the Historical new Society. New Lenox Historical Society. And they have a 57 Chevy here. How so about that? Nice patina color on that. The New Lenox Historical Society is focused on preserving and sharing all the historical information and memorabilia about the New Lenox area. This group is featuring a 1957 Chevy owned by Ralph Wilkos. One of the most iconic Chevys. Yeah. I'm a Hi. car person, can you tell? Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> All right, looks like we got a big, lots of American flags and a group coming down here. This is the New Lenox Republicans. They're obviously a political organization working to identify and support good candidates run for local elections. Playing some patriotic music too for Love the it, truck. oh, love it. This Sorry. is a big organization here. Oh, and they got their elephant on the back. Uh-huh. <laughs> They're ready. We also got the Will County GOP Republican candidate Phil Nagel, Air Force veteran and former first responder, is kicking off his campaign for election to the Illinois State Senate in New Lenox today. Phil would represent residents who live in District 40. It's like Samantha Gaska for Senate as well. Mm hmm. We also have, have Robert Enright yep. for Will County Coroner. Hi. This is the Knights of Waving Columbus. Waving hello to the crowd. Passing out some candy. Knights of Columbus. Uh, Dick Allen Council, 10926 Columbian Squires Circle. The Knights of Columbus is a Catholic, Catholic fraternal service organization with this group based out of St. Jude's Church in New Lenox. They serve the church as well as the community. Overall, including surrounding areas, you may know them for the Tootsie Roll Drive every fall that benefits those locally with learning disabilities. And then they have the Columbian Squires are the official youth organization of the Knights of Columbus. The Squires are Catholic boys aged 10 to 18 who want to grow as young men living out of their faith, living out their faith through community service, fun, and fraternity. There they are with their banner. It's 
great to see so many of these organizations showing up today. It just shows you how many great community organizations support our community are there for everyone. It's it's just a rare rare thing to have. And it's really nice to see the kids and the families that are out here. Yes. Got a little kit car here. Uh-huh. Nice little engine in like there. Like a dune buggy. I remember yeah. those. Those were fun. Got some open headers on the side. That'd be fun to drive around. That would be fun. I'm bringing up the rear is, looks like their candy supply truck, I'm assuming here. And down the road a piece, we have the Silver Cross Hospital. It's an independent, non-for-profit healthcare provider serving Will County and the Southwest Suburban communities since 1895. Silver Cross has been recognized as a 100 top hospital, national award winner 11 times, honored with an A hospital safety grade by the Leapfrog Group 18 times, and it is rated five stars by the Centers for Medical and Medicare and Medicaid Services in 2024 Health Grade ranked Silver Cross number one in Illinois for surgical care with over 4,500 employees, physicians, and volunteers. Silver Cross operates a 348 bed acute care hospital and 12 satellite facilities, providing outpatient service and physician offices. They're an open state of the art replacement hospital in 2012 at I 355 and Route 6 in New Lenox. We are so fortunate to have. Silver Cross Hospital in our presence in the community of New Lenox. Yes, very much so. The physicians at Silver Cross and medical staff have expertise in their areas of practice. To learn more, visit silvercross.org. Yes. All right, looks like we have the New Lenox Youth Football Association. They're a local tackle football and competition cheerleading organization based here in New Lenox. They have two teams, the Junior Knights and the Junior Warriors, with kids participating who are first through eighth graders. All right, if they're handing out candy, I expect a good, oh yeah, candy's flying. We got good yeah. arms here. <laughs> oh, wait, I think they're throwing out footballs. Mini footballs. Oh, this is great. We've got a party coming. I think it's Granite Mountain, located in New Lenox, specializing in granite and quartz countertops, cabinetry, backsplash tile, and flooring. Looking to remodel your kitchen or bathroom? Call them to see how we can help rock their world, or at least in her kitchen. <laughs> Sounds like Elvis is on this sub yeah. float. Elvis is supporting Elvis Granite is Mountain. in the building. He is, and in the parade. Oh, he's in the parade. I think that's a first. I don't think I've seen Elvis on a parade. Club. I don't think I don't think he's been here before. We're pretty honored to have Elvis in the New Lenox parade. Absolutely. Looks like we have the Lincoln Way Junior, Junior Women's Women. Club coming through. And they're part of the General Federation of Women's Clubs, an international organization dedicated to improving local communities through volunteer service.
All right, and we have the New Lenox Township. Uh, they have a food pantry that serves over 200 families per month, receive food donations from many local uh, grocery stores as well as from residents, and they're thankful for the many local volunteers who help out at the pantry on a daily basis. They also provide additional services, including transportation, providing rides for approximately 400 riders per month, recycling, mosquito abatement, senior services, and servicing two township cemeteries, just to name a few. Check out their annual newsletter for more information. I will have to say, I'm not a village resident, I am a township resident, but all things New Lenox, that's what I like. Well, the New Lenox Township offers so much. If yes. you are a senior citizen or anyone, or if you're disabled, and you need a ride to the grocery store or the beauty shop, you can call the New Lenox Township office and they will arrange for a pickup for you and a return trip home. And uh, it has to be in the village of New Lenox, uh, even to Silver Cross Hospital for an appointment. It's just a wonderful thing that they offer us. Well, it looks like we have the Dirt Ole at 66 and Top Notch events with their big old truck here. The largest monster truck event of the Midwest is June 8th at the Dirt Oval at Route 66 in Joliet. Eight monster trucks, Megas, Touch a Truck, Coloring Contest, contest and RC Clash Intermission by Hobby Town in Orland Park. Visit DirtOval66.com to purchase tickets and for more information. We're really lucky to have uh, that facility right near us in Joliet. Oh my Whoa. goodness, there goes a the t-shirt flying. <laughs> <laughs> Also had the Route 66 dragway over there. It looks there. like June 8th they're having an activity at the Route 66 drag strip. That's really a fun activity to have to go to. See, did anybody catch that t-shirt? I think they did. I think they <laughs> did. Pretty fun. Thank you. Beautiful old car here. They don't make Chevy muscle cars like they used to. Uh, I don't know. Is this Planet Fitness? Beautiful Chevelle. I think we have uh, nice car. Planet Fit Planet Color Hair Salon, and the Planet Color Hair Salon is in New Lenox, and it is full of youthful, well-educated stylists eager to build their clientele and make your hair look beautiful. I got a whole crew with them today. Oh, yes. Kay Jewelers here in New Lenox is here to help you with all your jewelry needs. From picking the perfect piece to repairs and custom jewelry, stop in and meet them and their great team. Have some beautiful things in the jewelry store. Mm -hmm. Next, we have St. Jude's Catholic School. The St. Jude's Catholic School is a local private school and is going through an expansion and remodel and is now open for enrollment. So give them a call if you're interested in fall enrollment. They have a beautiful facility. Got a lot of family, students, parents representing yes. them today. It's great to see. There they are all waving to the cameras. Newer Camaro rolling down here. Beautiful car. It's got a roll cage in there. Means it might go oh, fast. Oh, yes. <laughs> it sounds like it would. It does sound good. Oh, this is great. I love this. The West <laughs> Suburban Shrine Club has been entertaining parade crowds since 1950s. Their roaring 57s have been performing in parades with their 57 Chevy since 2005. 
They performed in front of 1.5 million people in that time. And their custom-made carts with cool paint jobs are always a spectator fa favorite. There they go. The Shriners <laughs> support 22 Shriners Hospital across the U.S. where they receive medical care free of charge. As the Shriners like to say, we ride so our kids could walk. You know, my husband and I work on old cars. Um, I think I want one of these. Oh, they look that pretty be, fun. Oh, that would be fun. <laughs> Would there be they fun. go, zooming along. <sighs> Going in circles. I, they, you could tell they performed in front of 1.5 million people. They know yes, what they're doing. Yes. All these. How fun. I think they love their job. It looks like it. All right, it looks like we have the learning experience coming down the road. I know. Imagine a place where learning comes to life and the characters leap from the page to inspire and encourage your child. Come to the learning experience in Frankfurt, offering two, two six-week to 12 years old programs, even offering all-day kindergarten. Hmm. Well, we got an elephant friend with yeah. them today. Very nice, the learning experience. All right, looks like we have the Healing Center here, and they provide mental and behavior health therapy for children and adolescents and adults. They also have a pediatrician that specializes in mental health treatment for pediatrics. That's great to hear. Again, May is Mental Health Awareness Month. Very important. Oh, they have a fun float. Look at they that. They do, they do, the Healing Center. They got superheroes going here. That did a great job with that float. <laughs> and Bubbles, who doesn't love Bubbles? All right, now we have Ozinga. We can tell who this is, the red and white truck. Ozinga is a fifth generation family owned American business in the construction materials industry. They strive to make a positive impact on their coworkers, customers, and communities by providing concrete, aggregates, and cement that help build a better future for generations. And I think this is their Christmas parade truck, because I think I see lights on it. I think it does light up. Okay. Pretty cool. It is cool. It's a beautiful truck anyway, my goodness. Yes. Yeah, see, the Mary, Mary Mixer. Mary Mixer. So, yep, yeah, that's there. the Mary Mixer. Ozinga. <laughs> oh, the Lincoln Way Community Marching Band is next. As a former marching band member. I, I went to Sandburg. Please forgive me. Okay. This, I know this is the Lincoln Way area. We Thank will. you. Um, I'm excited about our next entrance. Uh, the Lincoln Way Community Marching Band is an all-volunteer ensemble with about 200 <coughs> students from the Lincoln Way High Schools, East, West, and Central. They formed in 2016 when all Lincoln Way High Schools combined forces into one larger group. And they've proven themselves far and wide, competing each season at the local, regional, and national levels. They're proud to represent New Lenox, the entire Lincoln Way community, and the state of Illinois in the 2025 Tournament of Roses Parade in Pasadena, California. How exciting. It's going to be their fourth time that they've been selected to perform at this prestigious event. We congratulate them and wish them the best of luck in their upcoming season. I'm sure they're going to perform for us here, so let's, let's go ahead and take a listen. And listen, we're so proud of our band. The Lincoln Way Band is, is just an amazing, amazing group of people and being supported by their families, moms and dads, driving them. Thank you. 
Oh, that was amazing. Wonderful. Well thank done. you. Thank you for that. We're so proud of our Lincoln Way band. I am a former trumpets player, so I was. I'm a former saxophone player. Rooting them player. on, all of them on. The woodwinds bringing up the rear, beautiful, along with beautiful, their, uh, their truck, and because they have so much equipment to beautiful to bring presentation. Them. Thank you to all the drivers that bring them here, all the equipment handlers. It's a lot of work transporting that many people. It's a lot, and all the equipment. Next, right. we have the Safeway chimney sweeps. Safeway Chimney has been serving fireplaces and chimneys in the Lincoln Way area for the last 40 years. Safeway's technicians are trained, CSIA certified, and highly skilled in all repairs associated with your fireplace and your chimney, including masonry. Safeway also offers a full line of gas and wood burning inserts. Spring and summer are the best times of the year to get your fireplace ready for the burning season. Give Safeway Chimney a call today. They have Mary Poppins playing with Chim Chim Chim. Oh, Chim Chim Chiri. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> All right, it looks like we have Powers painting and decorating. Whoa. It looks like they can paint and decorate almost anything. Is that a swimming pool on the back, or what am I seeing? I think that is a swimming pool. This is actually Statements in Stone, and they're a local fiberglass <laughs> pool retailer. That makes more oh, sense. Oh, there we go. And they install pools and outdoor living spaces yeah. in and around New Lenox. I was going to say, that didn't look like no, a painting it doesn't company. Look, no. Look at how big that is. Yes, That's, it's a pool with a hot tub. I okay, like it. you can go right down to Francis Road with that. Absolutely. All right, looks like US 30 Auto Sales, and they're a local business specializing in selling golf carts. As you can see here, they have a very nice, fancy golf cart. Beautiful golf cart. That, that is, I want one of those. It's a six-seater, my goodness. Yes. Oh, here come some of them also. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're pretty nice. They have their own parade with their golf they carts. They do. Look at that. There are certain areas of New Lenox now that we can ride our golf carts on and uh, certain streets that they're legal for. Right. As long as you have the right equipment on mm -hmm. your golf cart. I wonder if those are all for sale. Oh, I bet. <laughs> They're all beauties. They almost look like cars. They're, yeah, those are those are some nice go karts. All right, this should be Brian Caputo, Southwest Construction. This must be Brian Caputo, Southwest Construction, Ted's Custom Installations. All right, we are ending the parade here with Joey's. <laughs> there they are, Joey's Red, Red Hots. Hots. Oh boy, um, Joey's Red Hots was the business of the year this year. And Joey's Red Hots is located and owned and community-based restaurant. They provide themselves on their community focus and would love to be a part of your next party. This is a wonderful thing to do. Have your graduation party and call Joey's and he'll just bring his truck over. They are wonderful. They clean everything up. They, it's a great place to have your party. It looks like we've reached the end there, Judy. We've got oh, uh, what a wonderful New Lenox day. Asda and police wonderful department officers day. trailing our final entry. Well, this has been a lot of fun. This has been our first time doing this here, so we appreciate you as we 
kind of figured things out. Big Our, shoes to fill for, for um, very Nancy big and shoes. Jim. So. Yes, they've done a wonderful job for over 11 years. I'd like to thank our producers of this parade. Megan Applegate, Beth Alderson, and Don Winnie were the producers of today's parade show. The director is John Petrovsky, and the technical director is Ethan Orlowski. Our cameramen, who did a fabulous job well, standing in the of middle them. of the street, and there's yep. a lot of them. Rich Orlowski, Maddie Gribowitz, uh, Kevin Shannon, Brian Margo, Bill Mark, Marcinkevich. Oh. Marcinkevich and Jason Holicky. So thanks so much for being with us today. We've really enjoyed seeing all these parade entrances. Like I said, this is the first time I've seen the whole parade. I'm I usually know, participating. I know, I so know. So thank you to all the support staff, the entrance, and of course the Village of New Lenox for organizing this. It's a big thing to organize. And thank you and thank for you. being with me today. It was thank a lot you for of fun. being with me today. Thank you.